Yeah, so I took my Bachelor of Science in Psychology, um, and I took it took me a total of five years to finish my degree. Um, so I didn't really know what I wanted to do after I finished my degree, but I was sort of knew that I wanted to be in medicine in some way. Like, so when I was very, very young, I was thought, you know, dentistry or uh, maybe being a physician. And it really wasn't until my third year that I realized that I do want to apply to medical school. So in my third year of undergrad, I wrote my MCAT between my third and fourth year, and then applied to medical school for the following year to try to get in, and was unsuccessful. And so when I found out that I didn't get into medical school, I didn't really know what to do with my life. And I just sort of randomly started applying to jobs and landed a job at an endocrinology clinic. So as I was through going through that position, um, I told my employer that I was applying to medical school. I wasn't planning on staying there for an extended period of time, and they were well aware of my goals. So every year I would apply to medical school, and every year I never got in. And so after five or six years of doing that straight, I realized that I need to do something different um, because I was getting older, and I eventually want you know a career, but I also want a family as well. And so that's. That's how I ended up here. Like I did a little bit of volunteer work within a hospital um, throughout my undergrad, mm -hmm. and it was just something I always knew that I was very interested in. And I don't even really know how I came about it because there's no one in my family that's in medicine. Um, I just was always very intrigued in science and biology, and I took a lot of courses in that in my undergrad. And then, like I said, in my third year is sort of when I realized, you know, being a physician seems like it would line up well with my goals at the moment and so that's how I started applying. How did your six years of applying to medical school uh, prepare you for applying to PA? So uh, I mean just filling out the application itself was something that I was already used to having filled out so many medical school applications so, so that was one of the things and during my medical school application time I had read the book Doing Right as I feel like a lot of pre-PAs or pre-med students had, had done the same and uh, I attended a lot of MMIs for medical school as well. And even though I never actually got into medical school, I found just going through the process of an MMI interview had really helped me with my PA MMI interview. And so I actually didn't really prepare for my PA interview at all because I had so much experience from my med interviews previously. I actually did a, um, so in Alberta, I, I don't know if there's something similar to that here, but in Alberta, I there, there's sort of like a program for um, rural students. So like I said before, I was born and raised in a very, very rural northern uh, Alberta community. And there was a family physician there that uh, knew me. And he actually set me up with this lady who would do MMI prep for students wanting to go into medicine. And it was just if you're from a rural community because there's not enough students from rural communities going back to rural communities, you know, practicing medicine. And so I actually did a few sessions with her. And so she also helped me prep for my MMIs. And, uh, but I, I feel like it was a very unusual thing. Like I sort of only found out about that through um, my connections from my hometown. Uh, but that really helped me just from like what to wear to an interview and how to you know, portray yourself, how to think through questions, um, how to think about ethics when ethical questions came up. And then again, that's why I went to Doing Right as well. That okay. Really, yeah. Was this a free service uh, for rural students? Yeah, so for me, uh, yeah, it was absolutely free. This this one lady, her husband's a physician, and uh, they work just outside of Calgary, actually. And so I sort of got set up with her through one of the physicians from my hometown. And so she just met with a couple of rural students who were applying to medicine and basically ran through how to do an MMI. And uh, she had actually done some of the interviews at MR, uh, at MMIs at some of the schools in Alberta. Okay. Okay. Why are you glad that you pursued the PA profession? So I am really glad I pursued the PA profession for uh, the people I met in the program specifically. And even though it took me you know, five or six years to get here from my undergrad, I'm weirdly grateful that it took me that long because if I had gotten in at any other year, I wouldn't have met the people that I've met. And so, <laughs> yeah. so that's probably one of the biggest reasons I'm really glad that I pursued the PA program. Um, in addition to that, I also feel like I've finally found something that, you know, I'm able to pursue medicine, but yet still have the good work-life balance that I want. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's good. So you really like the small community? Yeah, I do like the small community. It is 
sometimes it can be frustrating, you know, that people don't know who you are. But at the same time, it's sort of like, oh, yeah, I'm a PA, and this is what a PA does, and I'm proud to be in this position. And so that's kind of how I see it. Okay. <laughs>